favorite bold lip colors video for you guys today. In case you guys didn't see it, my last video was my favorite neutral lip colors video and I will link that down in the description box down below. It is all of my favorite um, nude and neutral colors. Basically all the colors that don't belong in this video. Um, I, just like my last video, am not going to be doing lip swatches in this video because I am not a fan of doing lip swatches. They hurt and they just, nope. Um, but yeah, I have my top 10 favorite bold lip colors and I have a few recommendations at the end for you guys as well. So my number one favorite red lip color is a color that is very expensive and was discontinued about five years ago. This is the Chanel Rouge Allure Lac in number 75, Dragon, and um, it's feel really bad because my favorite neutral lip color was Chanel and my favorite bold lip color is Chanel, but it kind of speaks to how good of quality some Chanel products can really be. This formula of lip color is a lip lacquer. It's not a super heavy lip lacquer though. They still have this formula of lip color, they just don't have this color. Um, and it's just this gorgeous, super pigmented lip color, and it's just, it feels amazing on the lips, and this particular shade of red is just stunning. It is a classic Chanel red. It's my special event, special occasion red lipstick. I almost never wear it because I love it that much, and I only have one, and they don't sell them anymore. Um, so yeah, it's my absolute favorite. A very, very, very close second, though, is the... Um, Lime Crime, the Lime Crime Velveteen and Red Velvet, and um, should the Chanel one not ever exist, or if I never had it in my collection, this would be number one. And again, it is a very, very, very close second. It's it's just it's a stunning lip color. It is a matte lip lacquer. I don't even know how to explain it. It's a, it dries down really, really, really quickly. It's a matte color. It is stain proof, it is like transfer proof, it's pretty waterproof. It will wear down a little bit if you eat like an oily food, but um, it's just a beautiful lip product. This line of lip products in general from Lime Crime, if you were to purchase one thing from Lime Crime, I would absolutely say it would be the Red Velvet Velveteen as well as the other Velveteens. My next favorite bold lip color is an actual, it's actually a combination of two particular products. These are both lip tars from OCC. This is their original packaging which is how long I've had these and which is how long these last. The colors that I have are NSFW and Vintage and Vintage is a little bit darker, it's a little bit more of an oxblood color versus NSFW is just a primary red color and I like mixing them because you get quite a bit of depth in the lip color. Um, these two are also just some of those stay all day, um, transfer proof, waterproof, fairly oil proof products that I can wear all day and not really worry about these lip products. They are fantastic and they last forever because you only need a tiny amount of them. So these I absolutely recommend as well. Um, OCC has quite a few reds now in their lip tar lines. So you might not even actually have to get both of these to get kind of the color that you like, but that's what I personally love about the OCC lip tar system is that you, they're very customizable. You can buy three colors out of the, that range and then be kind of set for lip colors forever because you can mix and match to whatever lip look that you're looking for. I'm sorry if it looks like I've moved, I've had to change the battery pack really quick. But my next color is from Rimmel, it's actually a color that I've also had for a very long time and it's the lipstick in Bordeaux, it's number 124 and this is what it looks like. It is my favorite red drugstore lip product and it is a little bit more of a wine color. It's not quite as bright as the other ones have been. It's a little bit more vampy of a color. The color, the lip print lipstick itself is not a super matte color. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's a comfortable lipstick to wear. It's really affordable. It's really pretty. My next favorite color is from MAC and it's the color in Girl About Town, which is a bright pink color. It's like a bright magenta pink. It's in their Amplified formula and it is just stunning. This is the lipstick that I actually found on Instagram. I found it on my friend Shannon's page because she wears this lipstick all the time and it looks so good on her. It's a very, very bright magenta color. It's not um, neon, but it's just very saturated and very bold. The amplified lip colors are really nice because they feel really nice on the lips, but they're very bold. They don't have a matte finish either, so they're not drying and they last 
a fairly long amount of time. It's one of very few pink lipsticks that I do wear just because, um, again, I'm not a fan of a lot of pinks on my lips. I tend to go for more, um, not like neon pink and like pastel pink, but more red toned or bold pinks. It's one of my favorite MAC lipsticks and I think it's one of those super fun colors that, that can kind of go on anyone. It looks pretty good on the majority of skin tones that I've seen. The next product is actually a fairly new product to me. This one I discovered in the last couple of months because of Ishani, Total Makeup Junkie 101. Um, and it's the Bite Beauty Pencils, the Matte Cream Lip Crayons. This particular color is in the color Truffle and it's another very dark, vampy color. It's darker than Bordeaux by Rimmel and it's a little bit more purple toned. Um, it's definitely sort of, it's a really like wine looking sort of color. It's very very pigmented. They are matte um, but they don't feel drying on the lips. It's a perfect fall color. It's definitely a color that I wore quite often this fall and winter um, and it's just it's one of those colors that people kind of stop and go what is that? And it is kind of scary when you first wear it but you get used to it and it just is stunning and I think it would look good on a lot of different people as well. The next color is also a very very dark color. This one is from Revlon. It's the color in Black Cherry and actually um, this is another color that was recommended to me by a friend that I met on um, YouTube. Well, YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Rada is the one that I think... I think she sent this to me. She either sent this to me or she told me to go buy it, so I went and bought it. And it's absolutely stunning. Um, if I didn't say so before, it's Revlon's Black Cherry. And it's in their Super Lustrous Lipstick line, which I believe they still have. They kind of... I don't know what Revlon's regular lip line is anymore because I feel like they discontinued a lot of their lip products. But if this is still part of their regular lipstick line, the color in Black Cherry number 477 is a must have for me. It's a dark, vampy, reddish wine color. It's a little bit darker than Bordeaux. It's a little bit less brown than Bordeaux. It has a little bit more of like a purple tone to it, but it's just another stunning color. It's kind of got a natural sheen to it, so it's not matte, um, but it's very pigmented and it stays on all day and it's just stunning. It's so pretty. And this is one of those colors that actually like Bordeaux, which I forgot to mention, that you can apply with your finger and it looks a little bit like a stain on your lips or you can apply it straight to the tube and it's super, super pigmented. This is one of the colors that I do that with most often and it's just, it looks so pretty and it looks really um, just kind of watercolory on the lips and it's really fun and it's beautiful and I love this lipstick. The next color is from YSL and this is part of their um, lacquer, lip, lip lacquer line. But, the glossy stain line. Um, this is the color number 11. It is the red, the only red one in that line and it's just, it's beautiful. This is that line of lip products that you apply one coat and it's super glossy. You apply a second coat for full color coverage and then the third coat is just to kind of seal it all in and make it as bold and as beautiful as it possibly can be. Um, this no matter how many times a different company tries to remake this or dupe this, they are never as good as the YSL formula. Um, these, the YSL ones, they never bunch up on me, they never get gross looking, they feel really nice all day, they stay really nice all day. They're expensive, but they are so worth it if you like the look of that lip product. They just basically look super, super glossy on the lip and they just they're beautiful. My next color is from Revlon's Lip Butter line, which I featured two of the Revlon Lip Butters in my neutral favorites. Um, this one is my favorite bold color from the Revlon Lip Butter line. It's the color in Red Velvet, um, and it is a very, very dark... Well, it's not really, really dark. For this line, it is the darkest red. It's a bit of a deeper red. It has a slight brown tone to it, which on certain skin tones can end up looking a little grandma-y, but if you, unfortunately, if you are of only of light to medium skin tones, it is a really, really nice, easy to wear, um, bold red lip color and a very comfortable formula. These are also very easy to wear sheer, but you can build them up. And then the last colors I have for you guys are all from MAC, again, which happened in my neutrals video. 
from MAC. It's the color in Moxie. This is another um, pink. It's not quite a pink. It's kind of camellias, those flowers, like the tree. <laughs> the tree, um, camellia flowers. It's kind of the color of that. It's a reddish pink. This is in the matte formula. Um, I think this was limited edition, so I apologize for that, but it's a matte reddish pink. It's not quite a bright pink. It's not quite a red. It's very, very bold. It's very, very pigmented. Um, and it's just, it's one of those colors that I like to wear in transitions between um, summer and fall just because it is a slightly darker color but it's not too dark and it's still got a little bit of like saturation and brightness to it. The next color I have for you is the color Sin which is the other sort of dark color that I said I would show you guys. Um, it is a very 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 dark very 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 matte wine color. It's very similar in color to Truffle from Bite Beauty. It's much more matte than that. The matte lip crayons do dry down matte, but the MAC lipstick in Sin dries down matte faster, and it's very, very pigmented. It's super dark. It's super bold. It's actually what I wore on Christmas. It's really just a beautiful color. Both of these, Moxie and Sin, are a little bit drying on the lips. I'm not going to lie. They're a little bit uncomfortable by the end of the day, but it's nothing too bad. I can kind of deal with it. And then the last one is the Retro Matte Color in Relentlessly Red by MAC, which is the color that I'm wearing right now. Um, this looks much more red in the tube than it actually is in real life. It's definitely more of a pink. Um, it is is like a bright corally pink with a red like touch to it. Um, again, it's what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing it over NYX's Cabaret lipstick. Um, and yeah, the Retro Matte line is actually very comfortable. It's less drying than the regular matte line that I have found. Um, they last all day. They're really pretty. They're very bold. They're very pigmented. It's kind of not, again, very much to say about matte lipsticks at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, really pretty. It's a really beautiful summer color. This one I wore a couple of times in the summer. I actually bought it kind of towards the end of the summer. Um, and yeah, it's just another, again, one of those colors that I think um, a lot of skin tones can wear and it will look good on just a ton of people. I have a couple of kind of honorable mentions as well. Um, the honorable mentions would be purple lip colors um, just because purple, I love purple on the lips. I think it's super cool and I think it looks great on so many people. I think people with dip deeper skin tones than I do that wear purple, it looks flawless on them. Um, and purple, kind of a classic purple lipstick is Max Heroin lipstick. I believe Maybelline makes a purple. Milani has a purple in their line. So purple lipstick is getting fairly easy to find now um, if you're looking for really nice purple lipsticks. Honorable mention, or not honorable mentions, alternatives to the colors that I showed you in this video. Maybelline's Vivid line is the first one that always comes to, to mind. Um, I like them, they just didn't make my top 10. They would be like, 11 and 12. Um, but the Vivid's, Vivid's line from Maybelline, again, a really, really great bold lip color line from the drugstore. Um, they're just, they're beautiful. They're very, very pigmented, if you can see that on my wrist right there. Um, this particular color that I'm holding right here is Wild Rose, and it's like a slightly more neon version of Girl About Town. Um, beautiful lip colors. They have a nice selection. The Revlon Color Burst Lip Lacquer Balms. Um, these are a nice way to get red lip colors without kind of committing to a red lipstick. They are sheer and they're glossy, so they're pretty easy to wear. Um, and you can kind of edge your way into being comfortable with bold lips by colors like these. The L'Oreal, I don't remember what these are called, but they're the glossy. They're not like the glossy balms from YSL, but they're the glossy lip lacquer formula that they came, um, that they released like the year after their lip lacquer dupes. Um, the color in Scarlet Concerto, which is 306, is a really nice red lip color. Super, super glossy. If you like the look of a very glossy um, lip color that's not sheer, then you're going to really like these. Maybelline's Elixir line is very similar to these. The Maybelline Matte line has a red matte lipstick in number 690, which is called Sil Siren and Scarlet. 
It is basically just a primary red matte lipstick. It's a really good matte lip color from the drugstore. The CoverGirl lipstick in Seduce, which is number 307, as well as the color Hot, which I don't have anymore because mine went bad. Mine was moldy. It was gross, so I threw it out. Um, these are both great colors from their just their regular lipstick line. They are creamy, they don't feel heavy on the lips, and they last all day. Hot does stain your lips though. It stains your lips like no other, and it stains everyone's lips like no other. Um, but it's a really nice, bold, it's a brighter red lip color. It's got a little bit of like a neon tinge to it, so it's really, really nice in the summer. Um, and then the Milani lipstick in Black Cherry, which is number 24, which Ishani sent this to me is a really nice um, wine-toned, dark, vampy red lip, or not red, but um, wine color. It's a beautiful, it's very similar to Black Cherry by Revlon actually, but it's a little bit darker. If you guys have any favorite bold lip colors, I would love to know what they are, and you can leave them down in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't. It would totally make my day. Um, I will have a nail polish video soon, I swear I have actually planned out my favorite blacks and whites and silvers nail polish video. Um, and I have a haul coming up and um, I'm going to do a review on the skincare stuff that I bought a couple weeks ago and so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are having a good day and I will see you guys soon.